Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video. And today we're talking about iOS 14.2 beta one. So just a couple of days after releasing iOS 14 to the public, Apple has released iOS 14.2 beta one. And of course, iOS 14.1 is nowhere to be seen, but it's 2020 and we can expect anything to happen. So in this video, we're going to take a look at iOS 14.2 beta one, and we're going to take a look at more than 20 new features that this software update will bring to your iPhone. First of all, we're talking about the size. This is quite a huge update. It will come to your device at around four to five gigs. You can see right here on my iPhone 11 Pro, it's an update of 4.9 gigs. That's really, really big. Also, we have here the build number. So the build number for this update is 18B505. 2H. This is the new build number for iOS 14.2 beta one. Moving on to the new features of iOS 14.2 beta one. First of them right here under the Bluetooth section. If you tap the little I button at the AirPods, when you have them connected, of course, you go ahead, go right there. You will see that now you will have optimized battery charging for your AirPods as well. So just like for the iPhone or for the Apple Watch, now Apple offers optimized battery charging for AirPods as well. And of course, on the long run, this will save the battery of your AirPods. So I recommend you go ahead and enable optimized battery charging for your AirPods. There is a huge update on the control center. The media player right here has been basically revamped from the ground up. If we go ahead and 3D touch here without playing music, you can see that it will show us like different suggestions here when we want to play music. You can see the scrubber here is bigger and now it shows right here where you're playing the music. If I tap here, you can see it shows a totally different interface for the AirPlay. And it will show you here like head titles for hair headphones or TVs, speakers, whatever you're playing the music on. And of course, you can see right here at the top, we have different suggestions and you can see that little icon which indicates from which app the music is playing. Now, if we're playing music right here, let's go ahead and start playing music. You can see here we have the scrubber. Basically, this is bigger as well. And we have that little time right there underneath the scrubber, which is really, really cool. And of course, very useful. So as you can see, this has been changed a lot. And the album art cover you can see right here is way, way bigger now than it used to be before. And it looks really, really good. Now going to the music app, you will notice here a few changes as well. You can notice that the little air airplay icon has also been redesigned and if you tap here you can see it looks totally different not anything like the old one on ios 14 now that's really weird to say on ios 14 because it just has been released but again apple has totally redesigned the interface here for airplay and you can see here it says airpods and then it shows battery level but after time after time it switches to the title of the song so that's really really cool as well as well a very very nice touch to the player right here on the music app also, if you're playing music on the music app, you have the list of songs here, the playing next, of course, you can notice that we have there the shuffle and the repeat button. Now, previously, if you would scroll down here, you can see these will just disappear, it will go up and come down with the list, but now they will just stay right there. So of course, when you bring the history, they come down, but at playing next, they will just stay right there at the top. And that's a really, really nice touch. Now, all of these cool changes are on the lock screen as well. You can notice here a totally like different design here with the album art, that little icon right there. You have a bigger like knob here for the volume. And of course you have the airplay, which also has been redesigned for the lock screen as well. And it looks much, much better. And again, you can see right there, iPhone, it shows the source where you're playing the song. And of course the title of the song and that little animation right there, which makes it look really, really cool. Another cool thing that Apple has done with iOS 14.2, they have added Shazam to the control center. So it's called sound recognition. Basically, it allows you to find and identify any song. So you go ahead and enable it and it will just stay right there enabled and waiting to hear a song. And then, of course, it will give you a notification that tells you which song you're listening to. And of course, you will have to enable this. You go to the settings, you go to the control center section, and you will have to add here music recognition. This is basically Shazam. And now for your control center with a toggle, you can go ahead and quickly identify any new song that you want. On the magnifier app, you know, on iOS 14, magnifier is a standalone app. Now you will find here people detection. Now this is of course 
for social distancing so you will find this new feature that has been added we have also a redesigned icon for the apple watch now it features the apple watch solo loop the new solo loop that apple has presented on the september event it can be found right there also we have some new settings here so if you go to sounds and haptics you will find now headphone safety this has been changed and under headphone safety of course you can reduce loud sounds again the slider here just the same as on ios 14 but now you can also enable headphone headphone notifications right here so basically it will send you notifications to protect your ears and all that stuff so it used to be reduced loud sounds now is headphone safety Another new feature on 14.2 can be found under the privacy section. If you go to privacy, scroll all the way down here to analytics and improvement, you will find right here, improve hand washing. So if you have an Apple watch and have it on watch OS 7, you probably have seen that feature that will basically encourage you to wash your hands for 20 seconds. You can help improve hand washing by enabling the feature right here. And now let's talk about the performance of iOS 14.2 beta 1. Of course, we have to keep in mind that this is just beta 1 and this will be improved with time with new betas that will be released. But here we have the Geekbench scores. This is for iOS 14.2. On the single core score, we have 1334, about the same as iOS 14 we had here, 1335. So just a point lower. Here we have on, single, on the multi-core score, 3,482. It was a bit better with 3,516 on iOS 14. So on the multi-core score, iOS 14 is a bit better than iOS 14.2 beta 1. But again, it is beta 1. So that will be improved with the new betas that will be released after this one. Now, performance wise, this of course looks very, very solid. I had it for like a few hours now. I didn't see any like major problems with it, any glitches or something like that. It runs really, really smooth. As far as battery life goes, we will have to wait and see for that, like maybe a three or four days, and we will have to see how battery life is on iOS 14.2 beta 1. But again, being beta 1, it will improve with time, but I don't believe there will be much of a bigger change from iOS 14 to iOS 14.2. But what happened to iOS 14.1? Why didn't Apple go with iOS 14.1 beta 1 but 14.2? Now 14.2 probably will be released by the time the new iPhones get released. So this should go on quite a few betas. Probably we will see like 6 or even 7, maybe even more betas of iOS 14.2. They have time to polish that and this will be the version that will come out with the new devices which will be on late october iOS 14.1 i believe will be released without having to go through betas at all of course now we have 14.2 on beta we won't see iOS 14.1 on beta we should see that get released anytime very very soon probably maybe next week or the other week we should see iOS 14.1 get released to the public again of course without having to go through the beta stages so we will have to wait and see for that see how apple will implement that and what they will do of course we cannot predict like really anything you can see here we was waiting for iOS 14.1 beta 1 and we got iOS 14.2 so at this point we will just have to wait and see what Apple will do and when they will release iOS 14.1 if it will be released it should be released by next week probably and again iOS 14.2 will be released with the new devices on late October so that's basically it for this video guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully learned something new here about the new upcoming iOS 14.2 which has started its beta stages and should be here alongside with the new iPhones when they come later this year so I hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did also don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you guys on the next one